Have you ever wondered how long it takes to do a listing on eBay? Today I'm going to find out. Hey, what's up? My name is Caleb. I'm a full-time reseller. Today, I'm going to jump into my screen and show you guys uh, live footage of me listing 10 items as fast as I can so you can really see how long it takes me to list. Um, from doing that, maybe you'll be able to see uh, how to improve your listing quality, how to improve your speed or efficiency, uh, or maybe just find a tip or trick or two um, to help you out along the way. Make sure you let me know down below if there's anything I'm doing that you know I could do a little bit faster, a little bit differently that might improve my listing process. Before I jump into my screen, I'm just gonna show you my desk setup because I do have a unique setup that helps me list a little bit quicker. And once you see it, it might make a little more sense once we jump into my screen. I wanted to show you guys my wide monitor. I usually set this up in three screens. I have my photos over here. I do my listings in the middle and then on the left I have like a internet page open where I do the research. Today just so that you can see everything I'm just going to be sharing this center portion and I'm going to do all the research and all the comps and everything I would normally look up I'll just do it on one screen so you can see everything uh, but normally I would have it on another screen so I can go a little bit faster. Um, when I share the screen it's just going to be the center portion so when I'm dragging in photos I'm going to be dragging them from right here. Um, just so you're able to get a visual of what that would normally look like. And then here I have it set up so that I can just tap spacebar to get a preview of my image. Um, and like I'm able to see my SKU number very easily. So when I'm just pulling that information or referencing back to it, um, you'll kind of know how I'm able to do that so quickly. All right, so I am going to start the timer. I am going to be explaining what I'm doing as I'm doing it, which will slow me down a little bit, but I think that that will provide the most value for the video. So let's get to it. Three, two, one, go. Okay, I'm nervous. <laughs> All right, so on Nike hoodies is the first item I'm listing. Uh, I come here first and I type in the style code. And I basically just wanna see what they call this. So this is called the full zip hoodie sweatshirt, I'm guessing, or the club fleece. I know mine's 2XL, so this is probably similar to what I'm gonna do. So if I do look up comps, I do sell similar. If I don't look up comps, I make my own listing um, because I can do my own listing faster than you know somebody else's. The first thing I'm gonna do is fix somebody's title. So I'm gonna call this a jacket because it has pockets and it's full zip. So Nike jacket, then I do size. So this is a men's 2XL, gray, sportswear club fleece, full zip hooded sweatshirt. That looks good. If I have extra characters, I add in XXL in case somebody's searching that. Then I copy the title, use some of those. And then over here on my other screen, like I mentioned, I can see my SKU number. So I type that in. And then I'm just coming here. I'm gonna add in some other uh, item specifics. That does have a drawstring as well. So on some uh, categories, you can do multiple closures and I'd add drawstring there if I could, but zip makes more sense. Nobody's searching by region of manufacture for the modern Nike stuff. So I'm just going to delete that. This is a cotton uh, poly blend. So I know if I type in blend, cotton blend will pop up. This does have like a mock neck at the top. You can see there. Actually, you guys can't see that. I'll drag it in. You can see there it has like a mock neck. And they put it as 010, this one's 071. So I'm just gonna come here, copy this, I'll do that. And then I'm gonna erase theirs, go back up to the top and grab this and copy it. So I'm going to do pre-owned. I have a keyboard shortcut. So if I push PO for pre-owned, it does in good condition. Please see photos for measurements. And if there's anything else I need to add to the description, I will add it at that time. Like if there's a flaw or there's something with the size, I can always type that in, but I have that base description set. And I was going to list this for $27.95. And $9.95 is what I charge for basically anything from over one pound to three pounds. And then I have my um, clothes and shoes return policy. And then I hit save for later because I'm actually gonna just add this to my draft bank and push all these live on a certain day. Okay, so that's one item down. I'm afraid to know how much time that was. That was three minutes, so honestly not bad. 
So this next item is a Polo Rao Florin 3X sleepwear thermal. So I am gonna have to look this one up just to get some extra details. Polo Rao Florin 3XL. And I remember when I did my video, I saw that one with the comps there. So I do sell similar. And I will do a video going over this a lot slower, but I just thought this would be a good video because I needed to list 10 items quickly and this would help me get it done and provide some value for you guys. Um, so I just changed the um, word to gray from blue there. Uh, this person actually titled their stru structured their title similarly to I do. What's beeping? Oh, that was my Google timer. Somehow that started. <laughs> oh my. Okay. Anyway, this the person that listed this previously um, structured their title similarly similarly to me, um, which definitely helps. I'm just gonna add in waffle knit into the model because that is gonna you know somebody might type in waffle knit to find that. If you can't fit something into your title, you wanna make sure you get it in your description. Even though I have it in the title, that's a keyword that's definitely gonna be searched. And I'm gonna price that at $22.95. And for this one, since it's kinda of on the cusp of one pound to two pounds, I charge $8.95. So I can be more competitive with my shipping charge. But if it's over a pound, I'm not gonna lose money. If it's under a pound, I'm gonna make a little bit extra. This policy is actually a copy of the one that I usually use. So I'm just gonna leave that. Got the second item down. Here is a 511 tactical polo uh, long sleeve. And I'm actually not gonna comp this because I've recently comped it. And I might even have one in my active listings. So one of the tabs I have open is my active listings. So I can do sell similar off my own item. So I typed in 511 to see if I had that listed. I don't, so I must have two of these ready to be listed because I know I have one somewhere. So I'm just gonna go here, I've made a shortcut to list an item. And I'm gonna just create this one from scratch. Then I come here, and I think this said Enduro Flex, so I'll see if I can get any of that in there. Enduro, I can get Flex in there. Can any of these be taken out? I can take out Dark. That is the color that was on the tag. I know that because I just photographed this. Enduro. Okay, and I'll take out Blue because Blue is gonna go in the title, in the item specific, so Navy and Blue will both come up in search. These are the kind of like the little tips I wanna go over in detail another time. Um, but just going fast, that's, that's how I do it. So I'm gonna drag these items in. It's ready to go once that pops up. On these, I do like to put 511 without the period at the end because some people do put the period, some people don't. So I'm just trying to get as many search results as possible from my listing. So this is long sleeve, it's dark. I'll type in flex because I was on the tag there. Solid, it's a regular fit. This is polyester. So I type in polyester and that brings up as much as I need. It's more like a blended fabric. It's not really knit or woven. Uh, there are little pockets up on the sleeve on this one. And I'm just gonna type in or punch in these item specifics that make sense for this item. I really feel like this is one of the reasons that I have um, a very good sell through my stores. I actually take the time to go in and do this kind of thing because honestly, not a lot of people do. Uh, they just kind of leave it, you know, bare bones and going in, I think really does help. I noticed on the tag, it said performance polo is what they called this item. So then I'm filling in the model. 
This is an all season shirt. You can wear it year round and just adding in anything that would be applicable. So when people are searching, they're able to get the right item. Uh, MPN, I do like to type that in. So this can be 72049. And this is new with tags. So I do actually have a different keyboard shortcut when I type in BNM, brand new merchandise. It types in brand new condition. Please see photos for additional details. And luckily, a lot of these I comped recently for my video. Um, so I don't have to actually look up the, the solds because I just recently did. Okay, I've done three items in nine minutes. So I'm doing about three minutes per item, which is slower than I normally do, but I'm talking, I'm nervous because somebody's watching me list. <laughs> Not nervous, but you know, it just kind of has got me wired a little bit. Um, this Pendleton sweater, this is another thing that because it was in a recent haul video, I just comped. So I'm just gonna do the title from scratch um, or the listing from scratch. It honestly saves me time from waiting for a page to load and scrolling for the right item and doing a similar sold off of one that's exact, like just making it myself honestly saves me time. All right, so I'm dragging in my photos. Got my SKU number in there. Once again, if you type in blend cotton, comes cotton blend comes up. So just from doing this a bunch of times, you know how to type it in the shortest way to, you know, get what you need popped up. Are there pockets on this? No, so I'm just gonna do breathable. Full zip is another good one. Pattern and knit style, I try to always fill out because that's something that somebody's gonna filter results by that uh, when they're going through here. Hiking and walking, I pretty much put for all sweaters just because you can hike or walk in sweaters, so why not come up in those search results? I'm gonna leave out summer because this you wouldn't really wear this in summer. And no flaws on that item, so I'm just going to use my pre-built description. Can't remember if this is 20 was like a 20 20 ish dollar item or 25 ish. So I'm just going to go 25, and if it's a little high when it hits my markdown sale, it'll come down and be right in that range. So no problem. That one was two and a half minutes, so we're getting a little faster. My next item is a Brooks Brothers uh, uh, V-neck sweater. So I think I've sold some, or maybe have some listed. So I'm just going to go into my actives and see if there's one that I can pull from my own listing really quick because that one really does, uh, it does save time when you can go off your own listing. So when I pull this up, I actually right click and do open in new tab so that way I don't have to reopen this window. And so you can see this is literally the exact same item, but in green, I'm just going to drop in a blue one. And that one is XL and this one is large. So I'm just literally going to, update these things. I don't know if this is the Brooks Tech, so I'm gonna change out Brooks Tech for just typing in large, and we'll do, um, let's see. Actually, we'll do Italian and I'll do 100% merino wool. I'm gonna update those, get my new SKU in there, and then all these are gonna be done because I did them. So I know that they're solid. Um, sometimes they don't transfer over, so I'll just double check. And all those are good. 
copy in my new title and 2695 sure if that's what I priced it at last time I must have had good reason for doing so so that one took less than two minutes all right here we have a chamois flannel so I know I have some of those so I'm going to come up to my own listing so this is just my own active listings I'm searching I'm searching chamois or <laughs> chamois <laughs> I watched uh, two videos today where people were saying that word differently than I believe it to be called. And I was like, I swear getting more comments, the secret to getting more YouTube comments is just mispronouncing words. So the fact that I'm pronouncing it correctly, in my opinion, uh, I should actually be pronouncing it incorrectly. That would help me. So people can comment and tell me how to actually pronounce things. So on this one, I wanted to put burnt orange, but I'm gonna uh, opt for the keyword hunting because this orange color is like synonymous with hunters and wanting to be visible uh, in the woods. So I think that hunting is a really good keyword. This is size medium. I saw the orange ones were selling for a little bit more. So when I get down to, um, let's check the MPN, make sure it's right. 187923. Yep. This one's in good condition, so I don't need to do read and point out the flaw. And I had that one priced lower because it had a little bit of damage on it. So I'm going to price this at 30 bucks because the orange color is a little more rare. And now I feel like we're back into a groove. Um, I know that I sold one of these lightweight Tommy Bahama flannels. It's the next thing that I'm listing. So I'm going to come here to orders, all orders. And I'm going to type in Bahama flannel when it loads. And so I could, this way, I, like once again, I can sell similar off my own listing. And when you sell similar off your own listing, it actually pulls in extra information than when you go off of a different person's item. So this will help me go quickly. I know this one's uh, actually 2XL and XXL. This is like blue, red, Tommy Bahama flannel shirt, plaid, soft. Yep, we're looking good there. Uh, what's the skew on this? Sometimes I'm going so quickly when I'm taking my pictures, I like my skew picture is blurry because I take the picture and move away before it loads. Um, so sometimes I have to go down to the next one and find it um, and then obviously subtract one. Adding in Lyocell and I'm going to add blend in there because this is a cotton Lyocell blend. It's really soft. Um, if you find one of these from Tommy Bahama, you realize why the retail is so expensive. Um, this one did have some like light pilling so I'm gonna just put in good can in good structural condition with some minor pilling due to normal use okay and I pointed that out in the picture and this one that I sold for 28 bucks was a 3xlt this one's just a 2XL. I'm just going to lower the price just a little bit. Just because that size is not worth as much as the 3XLT. The next item is a uh, women's LL Bean flannel. So I am going to just make this listing because I don't list a lot of women's. Um, stuff so I don't have one of my own to sell similar off of but I did comp this recently for like uh, between 25 and 30 dollars um, so I'm just going to create my own listing once again just to you know to me I feel like it saves time yellow green plaid uh, it's slim fit signature collection pockets can't get pockets in there let's see if I can finagle pockets in there yellow green plaid 
I'll leave plaid out because um, plaid is going to be an item specific. So what I'm doing there is I'm just triple clicking the title to copy it really quick before I uh, jump into this next screen. And I am not a women's clothing expert, so if I get some of these item specifics incorrect, please let me know down below. But I'm just going to try my best. I know these sell, you know, really well, so I know I'm going to be able to sell it. Um, but of course, having an accurate description is going to help you sell it the quickest. So I'm going to change this to multicolor just to get another keyword in there. Uh, it's collared. It's cotton. I want both cotton item specifics there. This is long sleeve, I think classic sleeve. That's what they call this. I honestly don't know. This is outdoor. We got pockets, we have breathable, we have heavyweight. And it's a slim fit, it's not vintage. This is casual, party, travel and workwear. It's a button up. Probably leave summer off of there because it's heavyweight. You wouldn't wear this in summer. And machine washable. No flaws, so just using the you know description I wrote. It's short and sweet. I've never had a complaint about that. If people want to ask questions, they're going to ask questions no matter if you write a novel or just keep it short. Most people don't read it anyway. Um, so save yourself the time. Create a, sheet, key, create a keyboard shortcut and... Uh, just do the same description on all of them and then modify them as needed. This next item I'm listing is a vintage FUBU shirt. Men's, let's see what size is it? Medium. Red, black, dragon. Silk, button, up. Um, let's see, Y2K. logo and let's see what other good keywords for that y2k style can we get i'm just going to type in graphic okay once again i am, have been comping my items lately um, for my videos and so because i already have it comped i don't have to go look up what things sold for which actually does save me a little bit of time um, and so because I already know what it's sold for, I just create my own listing because I can, you know, go a little bit faster. I don't have to correct somebody else's listing. All right. You guys can see the item here. I guess I should be showing you kind of what, what we're listing. So this is just a silk vintage FUBU shirt. Got my skew in there. It's more red than black. The black is more the detail. Uh, I'm not really sure. It's kind of like uh, uh, kind of in between materials there. I'm not really sure which. It is a button up, colorful. I'm gonna put 90s. I'm gonna put um, yeah. I think I got pretty good in the title. We'll do breathable. It's lightweight, moisture wicking. There is a pocket on it, so let's get a pocket. This is gonna be relax fit. It's like oversized. Collar style is mm, point actually. Collared, it is vintage. So this is gonna be casual, party. Yeah, that's pretty much it. This is not a winter shirt. It's extremely lightweight. Okay. And I think I was going to try to get 30 bucks for that. And it's definitely first class. So this is my other business policy. If it's under a pound, I do 650 flat rate. I'm charging them 650 and then I just pay whatever it costs to ship it. All right, we're getting down to the last item. So I must have picked up the pace there. We're at 23 minutes. So averaging 2.3 minutes. Um, so this 
LL Bean jacket 290552. I don't, it was kind of wearing off, so I hope that that... Okay, Pine Ridge field jacket. Great. So when I tell the, you in my thrift haul, I look up that thing, this is what I do. I just type it in and I find that it's the Pine Ridge field jacket. So then I come here and I go L Bean Pine Ridge field jacket. And this is going to give me results of what I'm actually looking for. So this one sold for $75. This one sold for $50. So I'm guessing that these kind of vary. Mine's fleece lined, some of these are blanket lined. Uh, so I'm gonna list mine at 40. I know I paid, I think 10 or $12 for it. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab, is it wool lined? No, so these these expensive ones are, are have a wool lining on the inside and mine's fleece. Kind of like this one. Um, here we go. I try to find a listing that has a similar title structure to mine and sometimes that wastes my time. So honestly, that's why it's sometimes quicker for me to just write my own title. Um, so I'm gonna change this to LL Bean Jacket, Men's Large. This is like a khaki tan. Khaki tan. This is not wool blanket line. This is fleece. Field. I really want to get um, waxed in there because it has like a waxed feel on it. So 3M, nobody's really searching that. So I'm going to do waxed. Large, beige. Uh, got my skew. 4, 3, 2, 1. It's nice skew. That's definitely cotton shell. My phone's blowing up right now. People trying to make it in the video. People have a misconception of what short, mid length and long is. So most of the time I just leave it blank because technically this is a short jacket, but when people see short, they think like cropped or like too short. Um, so if it is short, I don't put short in there because I don't want people to not buy it because it says short, um, even though this is technically a short jacket. And then right up here, I can see the number that I typed in, which is kind of nice. So when I come to the uh, manufacturer part number, I think that's what MPN stands for. I have it right there that I can see. And no flaws on this one. So I'm just going to do this. And what I say I'm listing is for 40. And there you go. Okay, I just stopped the time. Uh, it took me 26 minutes and 14 seconds to list 10 items. So that's about, you know, two and a half minutes or so. I guess that would be how that works out. A little over two and a half minutes. So I would say I am under two and a half minutes when I'm not, uh, you know, trying to explain it as I go. Um, but one thing that's really important to me is calculating how long those tasks take me. So when I'm picking up an item and, you know, I pick up things that make a little bit less than your average reseller, I'm okay with making $10 on an item because I know for me, it only takes me three minutes max to list it. It takes me two minutes max to photograph it. So I'm at five minutes. Say it takes me one minute if it's a clothing item to ship it. I'm at six minutes. And if I'm able to get, you know, a bunch of items at the thrift store at one time, if I average that down, maybe I have, you know, the other four minutes into that item. So say I have 10 minutes into an item. If I'm making $10, that's still $60 per hour if I can only have 10 minutes into that item. Um, so that's just something that I think about when I'm sourcing. Uh, I think a lot of people look down at the $10 profits. Um, but for me, that's my, you know, the minimum of where I want to be. Um, but if that's my minimum, I'm still okay with making that $10 because when I'm doing a simple clothing item for $10, to me, that still equals $60 an hour. Um, you know, I try to average more than that, of course, and I want to be able to work less and achieve the same income. So, of course, we always want to be raising our average sales price. Um, but if it's easy to ship, easy to list, easy to store, there's really nothing wrong with taking a $10 profit. Um, if you can get your efficiency down where it still makes you enough money for the time you have into that item. 
So that's just a little food for thought. I hope you guys learned something from this listing experiment. I really enjoyed it actually. Uh, maybe I'll get better at multitasking, talking, and you know, doing something at the same time. Uh, so I hope that you know it made more sense uh, to you guys than it did to me when I was trying to do two things at once. Uh, but either way, I appreciate your time. Uh, thanks for checking it out. Hit the subscribe button down below, and we'll see you in the next one.